Hello everyone, Style and Steve back again with another review. And as you can see, I'm not in my regular review space tonight. Uh, I'm actually at work doing this. And uh, I've got everything removed so that no one knows where exactly I am. But I am in one of the rooms at work. Uh, if you can hear a humming or a buzzing, uh, I can't quite get the air conditioner to turn off or the heat. So it's going to flip between heat and air conditioning. And it may cause a little bit on the recording, but I will live with it as best I can for now. So, tonight I'm talking about a million dollars, but what terrible things would you do for one million dollars? Pick this up at a local retailer, you can buy it online as well, it was a really good price, I know it's a couple years old now, uh, but I couldn't pass up on the price of this thing. So it does say what would you do for a million dollars, and you can see it's not even opened yet, it's still sealed, a million dollars, but... And on the back, we have some examples here of what options you have. A million dollars, but every time you hear a car honk, a historical figure will travel from the past and fist fight you. Or a million dollars, but whenever you sneeze, someone's turd will appear at random in a place in your home. Not what you want. Uh, what would you do? What terrible things would you do for one million? A million dollars, but... But is a party game based on the popular Rooster Teeth show that puts your morals and imagination to the test. Taking turns in the hot seat, you and your friends will discover what lines you will or will not cross for $1 million. Uh, from Rooster Teeth, you can see 17 plus, 30 minutes to play, 2 minutes to learn, 2 to 6 players. 2016 Rooster Teeth, so it's a couple of years now, but I mean, it was, it was on sale. It was a good price. I couldn't pass up on getting it. Now, I haven't seen what's in here yet. So we're going to learn together. And this may be the new rabbit hole. I was on the Rooster Teeth webpage before I started this review. And uh, there are some expansions and a storage box. Basically, this may be the, uh, the next Cards Against Humanity collection for me. Or type collection. So I'm unwrapping this for the first time. Cellophane will not defeat me. Whoa! In the box, you can see it does have some diamonds and dollar signs all over it. It's a pretty hefty box, uh, I really have to say. And it seems to be a recurring theme. What terrible things would you do for $1 million? So, how to play. Basic rules. Each player takes four black trigger cards and four gold rule cards. Together, these make the scenarios. Now pick a judge, that person carrying the most cash, maybe. Uh, players hand a full scenario, trigger plus rule, face down to the judge. One at a time, the judge reads the scenarios out loud. Players attempt to glorify or downplay the scenarios. The judge picks the scenario that they would ab absolutely would not do. This is the winner. The winner of the round is the new judge. Players draw back up four cards. First player to win five rounds is the overall winner. So trigger and rule together. A million dollars, but anytime you hear a phone ring, the person to your right gives you a rectal exam. Oh, what are we getting into? House rules. Each player takes four black trigger cards, four gold cards. Figure they make scenarios and I pick a judge, the person with the most debt, perhaps. Uh, players trigger and rule face down one at a time. The judge picks the top scenario that they would do. This is the winner. Okay, so it's a very it's there's the regular the this is the easy street setup. Uh, cash amidst insanity rules, of course. Each player takes ten gold rule cards. Now pick a judge. That person with the longest middle well with middle finger perhaps. Judge draws one black trigger card, reads it aloud. Players hand the judge a gold rule card face down. Judge shuffles the rule cards and shares each scenario. The judge picks their favorite. This is the winner. The winner of the round is the new judge. Players draw back up to ten cards. First player to win five rounds is the overall winner. That sounds very familiar, yes. Uh, house rule, you bet your ass. Motor for killing time. Head to your couch, kitchen table, favorite bar. Now pick a judge, the oldest, perhaps. Judge draws one black trigger card, one gold rule card to make a scenario. The judge reads the scenario out loud to all players. Players debate the scenario. Players secretly place bets, noting on a piece of paper whether the judge would do the, would do the scenario. Judge announces their decision and players reveal their bets. The player 
So the judge's left becomes the new judge. First player to win five correct bets is the winner. That's different. All game modes are awesome as is, but feel free to add your own spice. Try placing bets on who will win. Hell, make it a drinking game if that tickles your fancy. And more. Disclaimer, million dollars bought is a work of humor, bad humor, the worst kind of depraved, vile, hilariously bad humor that you can imagine. Keep in mind when playing, and remember, we didn't make you buy the game, but we did make you think about your parents having sex just from reading that sentence. Wow. Uh, with more to be seen at mbdgame.com and roosterteeth.com. I was on the Rooster Teeth website, like I said, after I bought this, and there's more to buy, so this may be my new rabbit hole because it's all very reasonably priced. Uh, so, what are the cards? They are a trigger card and a rule card. So, inside the box we have the trigger cards and the rule cards. And I'm going to treat this just like my other favorite game. And I'm going to start with the trigger cards. And we'll go through them together just to see what they are. That's a lot. And then we will go through the rule cards. One black trigger card and a gold rule card. So we'll go through the trigger cards first, and then we'll go through the rule cards. I will not read out the, um, shall we say, spicier ones, so the algorithm doesn't get me as easily, and uh, everybody's happy. So let's start here. A million dollars, but every time you pass a police officer, whenever you see a shooting star, Whenever you witness an act of kindness, it's not bad. Whenever you need to change a light bulb, every time you taste alcohol, I have problems with this one. I like my alcohol. Don't ruin it for me. A million dollars, but every time you're asked to donate money, whenever you're dressed, see someone dressed as Santa, whenever a stranger talks to you, every time you fart, uh, every time you hiccup, whenever someone asks to see your ID, Whenever your internet goes out, whenever, you're, whenever you experience car trouble, every time you see a coin on the ground, rare and rare to see coins these days, let alone on the ground, every time you accidentally burn yourself, every time a celebrity dies, every time a photo is taken of you, whenever you accidentally fall asleep, whenever someone disagrees with you, whenever you hear a garbage truck, whenever you see a bug, I'm getting very thorough here. Whenever someone starts talking politics, you leave the room. Every time someone, rec every time you see someone you recognize in public, whenever you're running late, whenever you see a helicopter flying, whenever you see a dog wag its tail, every time you hear someone complain, every time you hear an echo, which a little bit in this room, every time you have to do your laundry, a million dollars, but whenever you enter a building you've never been in before, Whenever you hear an ice cream truck, every time you see someone naked, <laughs> uh, whenever someone brags to you, anytime you see a child, a million dollars, but, oh, this is the open-ended condition. These are, okay, these are all, these ones would seem to be blank so that you can add in your own, or they're wild cards. One, two, three, four, five, we'll call them, yeah, I'll call them wild cards. It's a million dollars bought, and there, there's no condition attached, so you can make up your own there. Much like the uh, the white card, just the blank card, so you can write in your own stuff. I'm going to lay them on the bottom, just so I have access to them. Whenever someone greets you, anytime you change time zones. Now, does that include physically, or when you're just talking to somebody who's in a different time zone? House rules. Uh, whenever you use the bathroom away from home, every time you see a person on crutches, whenever someone gossips about you, when someone corrects you, when you lose a sock, whenever you hear onomatopoeia. How many times really in your life do you hear onomatopoeia once you're out of school? Whenever you feel something soft. Whenever you see fireworks. Whenever you see the person to your left. Each time you order something online. Whenever you are the tallest or the shortest person in the room, every year on your birthday, oh God, you'd, you'd probably learn to hate your birthday because of this. 
But every time you buy something, every time you see a store having a sale, at every family gathering, you get an awkward... Bu no. Every time you get lost or need directions, every time a new superhero movie comes out, whenever you hear the happy birthday song, when you have negative thoughts, every time you wake up, oh, this could be really bad. Every time you wake up, condition A happens. Now, I took them off the top like that, so I'm going to take the... I'll call them the blank butts, and I'll put them on top, because this was the top of the deck. So, there. Lay them over there. Every time you cut yourself, every time you hear a baby cry, every time you burp. Um, no, I, I can't agree to that one, because I, I tend to burp a lot at work. I don't know why, but I'm usually gassy. Every time you eat anything with your hands, you eat every... Utensils are in your hands, so technically you're using your hands to eat using with the utensils, but there's logic to argue in that one. Whenever you watch a video, every time your voice goes above regular volume, on the 3,000th step of every day. Uh, I'm at 782. I'm a ways away yet. Every time you laugh... Whenever someone compliments you, every time you enter or exit a building, so they covered the building you haven't been in and every time you enter or exit a building, every time you see a TV, if you step on a crack, you break your bum's back. Whenever you witness a public display of affection, every time you hear music, every time you lick your lips, how often do you do that and not even realize it? Every time you hear a doorbell, whenever you stand in a line, Every time someone asks you a personal question. Every time you sit on a toilet. Whenever you're unsure of where your keys are. Any time you become sexually aroused. Oh God, I'm hating this more and more. Every full moon. Whenever a member of the opposite sex asks a question. Whenever you feel relaxed. Whenever you feel uncomfortable. Whenever you feel. Whenever you smell something pleasant. Every time you use a metaphor. Whenever you kiss someone. Whenever you dislike something, whenever a waiter speaks to you, every time you have sex, the roof falls in. I don't know. Could be in there. Every time you spend money, every time you ride in a car, every time you wash your hands, every time you send an email, every time you get an email, every time you hear someone speak with an accent, with an accent does it count if it's your native accent? Good question. Every time you eat seasoned food... Every time you see a red car, when it's cloudy, when it's sunny, when there's weather, when it's cold out, when you bathe, whenever you speak to your parents, whenever you use a computer, whenever you use the word yes, anytime you watch a movie for the first time, whenever you're hungry, every time you brush your teeth, every time you hear the national anthem, every time you see your reflection, Every time you introduce yourself, whenever you scratch an itch, when you're around more than 50 people, when you get a haircut, every time you take an elevator, whenever you misspell something, whenever you play a game, whenever you stumble, when you walk up a staircase, when you hear a dog bark, every time you forget your password, I was expecting the next one to be able to cat me out, when you climax, when you feel anxious, when you deal with an authority figure, anytime you copy and paste something, every time you get stuck behind someone walking slowly, whenever you absentmindedly stare, every time you hear a car honk, whenever you touch another human, every time you curse, anytime someone sneezes nearby, whenever you commit one of the seven deadly sins. That's dangerous in this day and age. Whenever you hear the news, whenever you get a zit, Every time your phone battery dies, every time you get, every time you get, okay, it's caught in the rain, every time you hear someone say, I love you, every time you use slang, every time you see a stop sign, nobody sees stop signs, nobody stops at them, nobody sees them, every time you see a rainbow, every time you make a mistake, every time you shake someone's hand, every time you order a meal, every time you get angry, that's my secret, Captain, I'm always angry. 
Every time you plug something in, when you admire someone's behind. Every time you step on gum. And every time you cross a black cat. So those are the black trigger cards. Next up will be the gold rule cards. So I'm going to lay the black trigger cards to the side for a minute. They can wait over there. And now we'll go for the gold cards here. The gold rule cards. Which will come out in a few piles. We might have the piles by the time this ends. Lay the box over there. So I got three piles of gold cards that are nowhere near even, but what the hell? Why do I think the boxes are in the middle and they're not? I just did that with everything off center, but much like everything else I do, it's off center. So I got three piles here. Let's start with this pile. You taste the cause of every bad smell. Yuck. Everyone on earth is on a seek is in on a secret and will never tell you. Wouldn't drive you that nuts, but it'd be irritating. A stranger puts their finger in your butt. Depends what you're into. I'm not judging here. Your clothes become three sizes too small. For only a million dollars, you'd have to keep rebuying, re rebuying your wardrobe. Unless it happens just once. You poop your pants just a little bit. Your glow is bright as the sun. Oh my god. That'd be awkward and hilarious at the same time. You barf in your mouth. Every object says its name the entire time you use it. Your forehead flashes bright red. You have to go back in time and watch your parents conceive you. Inconceivable. It's a back to the future paradox. Spaghetti comes out of your mouth. You gave birth to a miniature clone of yourself. Ow. You are compelled, compelled to eat every sponge you see. You have to go on a nice date with Hitler. Fortunately, he's dead. Your clothes disappear. You can get more clothes. All of your blood comes out and replenishes shortly after. How shortly? Because you kind of need it. Yeah. You teleport to a random location on the planet. You get a million dollars, buy a plane ticket home. Your hands become covered in taste buds. Ooh. You forcefully lactate delicious milk. At least it's delicious. Random objects stick to you. You have to hug a stranger for 30 seconds. Awkward. You are placed on the FBI's most wanted list, wondering how you got the, the million dollars. Your arms are replaced by puppet arms. You have a machete attached to your hand. You are constantly sabotaged by an evil twin. A parade spontaneously erupts around you. Well, if I got a million dollars, I'd probably want a parade. Every movie or show you watch stars people you personally know. That would make the Avengers look pretty funny. You run at full speed every time you need to walk. Your teeth are completely black. An invincible snail begins slowly following you, and if it ever reaches you, you will die. All of the clothes you have on, including undergarments, are made of duct tape. Removing will be problematic. You're instantly put inside a womb and must relive your own birth. You have to eat a child's birthday cake. A convicted sex offender makes you a cocktail. Your least favorite teacher appears and gives you a shitty message. You have to go to a random internet video page, find the lowest rated comment, contact the user who wrote the comment in real life, and go out to eat with them. A sweaty sumo wrestler appears and, must give you, a, and you must give him a belly rub. One of your bones turns to gelatin. Shia LaBeouf thinks he's your life coach. Just do it. I'm a couple of years late on that, but this game is a couple of years late. Your secret thoughts from the last hour become the top post on a popular news website. And we have the requisite blank cards that you can, much like the blank black cards, you can write in your own scenarios there. Lay them to the side. Million dollars, but you empty your bowels. Just once? Okay. You have to commit a crime in front of a cop. Jaywalking. Easily. Done. You rip off your shirt and swing it above your head yelling, Woo! All animals hate you. You get handcuffed to the nearest stop sign and it's up to you to escape. 
You're inexplicably covered head to toe in someone else's blood. You can only tell the truth for the rest of the day? Just that day? Okay. I tend to tell the truth more than anything anyway. I, d I don't like to lie. It's easier to keep track of the truth than all the stories of lies. An orphan dies and somehow manages to scrawl your name in the dirt before they do. You have to eat the last thing you touched, which would be this card. Both your arms dislocate. Ouch. A stranger pulls down your pants. Blood rains from the sky. You lose two hours of sleep. Okay, so I sleep for four hours instead of six. Or I sleep for two hours instead of four. A million dollars, but I lose two hours of sleep. Okay, big deal. A cockroach suddenly appears. Eee. You shed up. No. Your hair. Michael Jackson. Chewing gum is teleported, teleported from someone else's mouth into yours. ABC gum. You must tattoo a teardrop on your face. No. You become a literal vampire for 24 hours. Okay. You are haunted by a sassy ghost. Okay. You get the feeling that you didn't wipe your butt completely. A cyborg is sent from the future to terminate you. You have to referee a sports game you do not know the rules to. You have to convince someone to switch underwear with you, then wear them. A snake appears in your lap. You fall down a flight of stairs. Well, with a million dollars, you've got your medical insurance. You have to suckle milk directly from, a cl from the closest mammal. Your head shrinks to the size of a baby's. You must stick a penny up your butt. Well, whatever you're into. One penny for a million dollars. Okay. You have to get a. You have to pet a terrified skunk. A riot squad hits you with tear gas and rubber bullets. You have to make an old woman cry. A cat grooms all of your orifices. You have to unabashedly pick your nose and eat it in front of someone. You're powered slow, solely by mayonnaise. You have to fight an alligator. You must pick a fight with a child and lose. Hitler's mustache appears on your upper lip and is promptly shaved off. You faint. Just once, again, that's not too bad for a billion dollars. Your head inflates to triple its normal size. Your pants turn into inappropriately short shorts. Short. Everyone in half mile vicinity wants to kick your ass. You must bathe in rotting onions and get no. You have to rub ghost peppers on your ouch. You shoot devastatingly powerful lasers out of your for a full minute. Just lie back and let it go to space. You have to destroy a, destroy a prized personal possession. A nude photo of you gets leaked online. An aggressive pit bull humps your leg. You burn the roof of your mouth like you just ate a hot scalding pizza. You look like an infamous dictator to everyone but yourself. Not the way you want to go out. So we'll call that the top pile and we'll put the blank cards on top of that. Pile two. A million dollars, but you get pink eye. And the antibiotics to clear it up. You become sexually attracted to random animals. Yee. You become sexually attracted attractive to random animals. Yee. The person you, to your right gives you a rectal exam. Ouch. You switch bodies with the person to your left. You steal from the next chip tip jar you see. You lose ten days of your life. Do that when I'm working, anyway. Your food comes to life and won't stop trying to kill you until you swallowed it. You orgasm. Okay. Nope. A loved one forgets you exist. An embarrassing meme about you is created and uploaded to the internet. I think I'm a couple already. You have a raging erection. All right. You must drink a soda that has fungus on top. You have to burn an American flag in front of the in front of veterans. <laughs> you ejaculate cheese doodle dust. You have to watch your least favorite movie in its entirety. Oh no, I'd have to watch Count Yorga again. A memory is erased from your mind. You won't remember it, so you won't really mind. You have to tell a mother that her baby is ugly. You swap places with a death row inmate for 20 minutes. You must try to convince someone that you were in the Twin Tower. Oh, God. You have to sit on a chair covered in tacks. You lose your most recent purchase. You become a little bit more like a raccoon. 
A felon with a life sentence for violent crimes is released from prison. You get paper cut between your fingers. That really hurts. You wake up in an empty grave. A random person has to spit a loogie in your mouth. You have to slather a sheet of paper in mustard and then eat it. Your prolapses. Ouch. You must tell your significant other that you're cheating on them. You must send a letter to a relative describing a past sexual encounter in detail. You have to stick your hand in the nearest toilet. Your next five meals can only come from gas stations. This one? Okay. You get hit in the face with a flying basketball. Ouch. You have to spend the night in an abandoned haunted insane asylum. Okay. You get a root canal. Give me the anesthetic. You must give a hobo a foot massage. Give me the anesthetic. You must watch a video of your parents participating in a... Th no. You must eat an entire pound of bacon covered in melted butter and cheese. That's a food challenge down there, so down the state somewhere, isn't it? You must eat whatever nearest non-human animal is eating. Mm. You must find an alternate needle in an actual haystack. Oh, find an actual needle in an actual haystack alternate. You temporarily lose one of your five senses. You disappear from a photo taken in the past. A cloud of mosquitoes is released near you. Time and space rip apart, and you are left floating in an endless expanse of what feels like days, but is actually only five minutes. All food you have at home simultaneously expires. You have a million dollars. Buy more. You get a thimble of cat pee spilled on you. Aww. You catch a cold. Someone pilfer pilfers through everything in your bedroom. A seagull poops on your head. You are soaked in sweat from head to toe. You suddenly wake up in the middle of a random surgical... Pers Ouch. You have to stick your foot in an anthill. Did that unintentionally. Give me a million dollars. You have to spit directly on someone and not apologize. You have to read Mein Kampf to co cover to cover in public. As long as you don't got to read it out loud. You must go to the nearest major road, hitchhike, and go wherever the driver takes you. Something you own breaks. You learn exactly when and how someone you know will die. Your eyelashes double in number. You grow a unibrow and promptly shave it off. A giant picks you up and swallows you whole, then you make the entire journey through his digestive system. You spend the next five minutes in the chokehold of an incredibly strong third-grade bully. You get mange on your scalp. Your inner thoughts are replaced with those of an insurance salesman named Bill who lives in Des Moines, Iowa, and is a huge KISS fan. A scorpion appears in a hidden location near you. Your inner thighs burn intensely. You're hit by a slow-moving vehicle. Your face plant for the next five steps you take. Your body is immediately covered in a full body cast. You are presented with two pills and you must swallow one. One of the pills will make you completely insane for a few hours. The other pill is a placebo. The world's crazy. How are you going to know? Several leeches appear in various places on your body. You have to eat an entire 20-inch 20 20 pizza in one sitting. Okay. You lose the ability to use transportation for a day. All the world's electricity goes off and everyone knows it's your fault. But I don't blame the guys because I had to make the whole time and one time I turned into a dog and they helped me. It was short but pointless. You have to scream out the ethnicity of the person closest to you. You lose your sex drive for 24 hours. You can only communicate through interpretive dance. Giant hornets chase you. You cry battery acid. Ouch. You have to tell your parents about your last sexual encounter in detail. Your fingernails fall off. A random household item becomes unplugged. You get tackled by a professional linebacker. A child accuses... Oh, wow. You become a juggalo. You're stuck in slow motion while the world continues as normal. You forget how to talk. You cannot bathe for a week. A direct portal to hell appears. Your dominant hand suddenly has a mind of its own. You receive a mild electric shock. You crave the taste of your own... You have to chug a wine cooler. Anyway. You turn into a werewolf. You grow a ramen, be ramen beard. Okay. You have to perform the rest of the day's tasks in an overly sexual manner. You have to wear a mascot outfit that covers your entire body. A song is played from your butt. Your next pee or poop can only happen while someone is chasing you. You have to ask a coworker if they find you sexually attractive. You live with the angst of a teenage girl for the rest of the day. Your hands become feet and your feet become hands. Laws of gravity no longer apply to you. Oh, God. Stay inside a building. 
You have to cosplay as something you hate. Your head becomes disconnected from your body for the rest of the day. You have to go to a playground and stare at children until someone asks you to leave. Your ass has a mouth that yells out whatever you're secretly thinking. You wrongfully get blamed for the next bad, bad thing that happens near you. Everyone is convinced you're a brain-eating zombie for 30 minutes. You fall madly in love with the next person you encounter. People perceive you as a mannequin for 24 hours. Your nose grows three inches longer like Pinocchio when he, when he lies. You forget who you are for 24 hours. A stranger must hold your hand while you use the restroom or you cannot go. Some of these are creative. Some of these are lame. Some of these I wouldn't care. At all, really. Some are pretty benign. All right, last stack. Last stack, or do I make it two stacks? Ah. All right. Make it a stack. Why not? Your mouth disappears for a day. A porn star takes your mother on a nice date. Building your inn catches fire. Your great-grandparents' ghosts appear and convey their disappointment. You have to become a sex therapist for your parents. You have to engage in a dance battle with the closest person and win. Go, Star-Lord, go. Everyone within one mile turns into clowns. You become a full-blown mime for an hour. You meet your hero and immediately vomit on them. You have the same level of control of your body as a toddler. You have to start a riot. You instantly drop a load of sex toys and condoms on the ground. You must break into the closest home and steal a family photo. You give a speech to an auditorium full of children on how your drugs ruined your life. You have to give a sponge bath to the oldest member of your family. An upcoming movie show or book that you want to see or read is spoiled for you. You're tele teleported backward in time for an hour, naked. For one hour, everyone in the city you're currently in will stop at nothing until they've hugged you. You have a 50% chance of being the most loved or most hated person on earth for the rest of the day. Someone in the world is given a voodoo doll that can control you. You must twerk in the face of the nearest stranger. The doors to your car and home unlock. You cry uncontrollably. Your keys teleport to a different location in your house. You text an ex something cryptic and weird. You curse uncontrollably for 30 seconds. I do that anyway. Give me, give me the million. Your parents show you... Your parents show up and bare ass spank you on the spot. You must in the nearest cat litter box. You must impersonate the next person you talk to for the duration of the conversation. You must call the person talking to you daddy and sit on their lap. You have to spend the night in a beaver lodge dressed as a giant beaver. You must fist fight an invisible man. Your childhood imaginary friend becomes real and only wants to mooch off you and crash on your couch. You get abducted by aliens, but no one will ever believe you. The sky rains aerobics balls for two hours. A gang war erupts wherever you're standing. Your favorite musician releases a chart-topping song about how much of an asshole you are. A cult that sees you as their savior publicly com commits horrible crimes in your honor. You'll be required to represent your country in an impromptu Olympic event the whole world is watching. Every fictional horror movie villain becomes real. They all team up to chase you through the night. Christ. Your knowledge reverts back to that of an especially stupid seven-year-old. You become addicted to rubbing your own nipples. You cannot communicate with anyone because they all adopt a scream-based dialect that you cannot understand. You have contagious hiccups. All cute animals become lethal and they want to murder you. You are required to fill, fulfill the desires of an especially shitty 13-year-old. There will be no more than 10 and no fewer than 3 public pubic hairs in your next meal. Mm -hmm. Every fluid you consume for the next 24 hours will be alcohol. It's New Year's Eve. That's entirely likely. <laughs> All your loved ones are convinced that you just died. You're required to use opposite sex's public bathroom for the day. Dragons become real and they hate you. You have a heart attack. You send an unflattering naked picture of yourself to the newest acquaintance. All naked pictures of me are unflattering. Everything you consume must be done rectally. You grow an extra body part. You automatically own one extra cat. You must give a eulogy in front of thousands for someone you did not know. You have to wax off all the hair on your body below the neck. You have to eat one of your own body parts. It will grow back. Every animal in a mile radius has the sudden desire to smell your crotch. A random historical figure will travel from the past and fist fight you. That's on the back of the box. 
You must take a yoga class while loaded with laxatives. Oh, oh. You have to hold on to the last thing you were given for a week. Charity loses $50,000 and they know you were the cause. Someone's turd will appear at random in your house. Fire starts where you're standing and you cannot put it out. You grow a second set of eyebrows. One of your favorite fictional characters comes to life and you have to murder them. Oh, God. Everything you own shrinks a quarter of its normal size for 24 hours. You're given a memory of a major life event that never actually happened. I'm trying to remember what that's called. The Mandela Effect. Permanent Mandela Effect. One of your family members will make global news for doing something really stupid. A documentary crew will follow you nonstop for 48 hours. You will get struck by lightning. Your body will suddenly launch into space at supersonic speed, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and crash land with only minor injuries. Every single surface you touch is slippery for two hours. Your and no switch places for ten. E. Your skin grows horrible boils. Your head spins around and you projectile vomit. You can your next can only happen while a large man shampoos your hair. You get about no. Swap paces with a carny. You had to take two shots of no. You have to intensely make out with the nearest senior citizen. You must replace the lead performer in the next stage play a concert in your area. An overzealous SWAT team shows up to extract you from your current location. A rhino charges out of the nearest bush straight at you. A stranger squirts jalapeno juice in your eye. Sports commentators give a play-by-play -play analysis of your actions. A random person in the world gets AIDS. Terrorists win. All your technology is replaced with the Flintstone-style technology. You have a small, sharp rock in your shoe that you can't get rid of. You have to find the nearest child and tell them a horrible lie about their family. You pass the world's stinkiest fart. The next thing you drink tastes like garbage water. The next metaphor you, be you make becomes real. You can only use a unicycle for transportation. The next electric device you can you use can only be powered by plugging it into you. Ow. 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 You do a small amount of... Just a small amount. Just a little. They pulsate. Your actions are narrated by the movie trailer guy in the world. You have to publicly share the outtakes of your most recent selfie. Your fingernails become paper thin. You have to walk barefoot on a pile of Lego. I pass. You must eat an entire head of lettuce without condiments. All of your passwords are shared with a sworn enemy and or a Russian hacker. Everyone else becomes invisible. Your car gets towed. Your socks become damp. You get a giant pimple somewhere on your body. Your shoes get tied together. You have to wear an unremovable chastity belt. You must do your taxes. We do that every year. Your heart breaks and you feel super sad. Aww. Everyone in the immediate vicinity turns and stares at you. You must shave your eyebrows off. You get stalked by a random animal. You have to clean an entire frat house until it's spotless. You get pregnant. You must fight a tween. A random kid claims you're their parent and violently cries when you try to deny it. You become a totally out of control compulsive gambler. Your upper lip smells like hot trash. The Nazis burn down your house. A bird comes out of your mouth. Everyone on Earth gets superpowers except you. Everyone treats you like you're an infant. You're suddenly injected with a lot of adrenaline. You become the number one suspect in a murder case. You have to smell a stranger's ass. Objects that were once extremely heavy become light. Objects that were once light become extremely heavy. There's a 10% chance the water in your next shower will... Mm, Flying monkeys appear to beat the crap out of you. The next time you speak to someone, you have to call them without explanation. And you must roam the streets doing vigilante justice. Again, some of these are not bad. They're, they're fairly mild. Like, okay, so I have to eat a head of lettuce. What, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Everyone hates me for an hour. Really? Just, just an hour? You get pink eye. Pink eye, pink eye can go away. But, I mean, this, can, this is definitely an interesting game and will be an interesting game to play. There's definitely a few no's in there from me. And I'm not shy about saying, nope, I'm gonna pass. So, take those and put them back in. Like I said, there are more sets out there for this. There's two expansion sets at least. There's another storage box. There's a holiday expansion pack. There's... I think I think it's a British pack because it said it was pounds, but uh, 
this is a million dollars but so I took my own advice from one of my last tweets. Twitter is at Style and Steve. Uh, said if you were looking for something to do New Year's Eve, pick up a new game. Have a look at my playlist of uh, Cards Against Humanity reviews and Deadpool vs. the World and Bandito and now a million dollars bought. And uh, if you pick it up, have a bit of fun with your friends. See how horrible they can be and how horrible you can be. Um, this is going to be a fun game to play. And take this over to a friend's house tonight uh, for New Year's Eve celebrations. And we'll see how it goes. And I will be getting the other expansions, as I said. Um, so there will be more to come. This will be the new rabbit hole that I'm going down for collecting. Because they're all really cheap right now to get. And hey, I like the price. So, if you like this video, certainly give it a thumbs up. Give me two if you want. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'm on the way towards monetization. I need about 490 more subscribers till I get monetized, but hey, you know, if it happens in the next in the next 10 years because we're just going into 2020, I'll be happy. Uh, so remember, like it if you do, comment if you want to see more uh, like this, or if you didn't like this, let me know. I'll certainly answer any comments that go in online. Uh, I am Style and Steve, and until next time, I'll see you later.